Hello guys and girls, boom, welcome back. I've just got a little bit of post to share with you and uh, it's so nice because I haven't got to rush through everything. So um, I don't know if you know, but uh, I'm collecting two Euro commemorative coins. I'm hooked on them and I love them, I don't know, nearly as much as two pound coins, maybe more at the moment because I'm fi <laughs> finding them. <laughs> <laughs> unlike the two pound commemoratives i have got some in capsules that have come straight out of rolls but um i've run out of capsules and the others are not arriving i don't know if these are arriving oh you'll have to wait a minute <laughs> anyway so what i'm doing is i'm putting them in an album and they are you're catching the light do you want a closer look oh hang on then got to mind i don't knock the camera though so okay Sorry, they're all spin round in here. They're not like they haven't got the cards on the back to keep them still. But basically, we have got um, a nice collection coming along. Um, I've been buying them eat from eBay. I've been getting them from the um, uh, Euro chain shops in uh, the major towns and. I think it's called one currency is another one um and where else do i get them oh ebay of course yeah i was just trying to think where else i get i pick them up but anyway i purchased from this person a few times and the coins always arrive well packed and neat and tidy you know in their little sales you'll see in a minute uh but i can't show you the envelope because my details are on one side and theirs is on the other and it's a private address so if it, if it was a business address it'd be different but hey so we've got uh, gaps to fill in there but if these coins come out spanking they'll go in capsules so alrighty so that's how we're playing this game <laughs> there we go now we had a one escapee and this is from Spain it's another one of those um, really well engraved and detailed coins you know we had the um, Caracas was it in Spain? Oh, don't tell me I remembered something good. Now look at the condition. So that'll be a, a capsule coin. Alrighty. I was just that, trying to see if I've got something to put it on to make it stand out. How's that? So I'm going to get these others out. And I'll put those up there. Do you want to go in a bit? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can focus in in a minute. There we are. We'll get there, but I will show you a close-up. And then I will do a review on each one of these coins. They are going into... Ooh, honey. Don't forget the honey, mummy. Sorry, I'm looking at it. Don't forget. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Shall I have a look? Have I got an eyeglass here? Yeah. Oh, let's have a look. Svento, Sventovni Dan Gebel, Slovenia, 2018. Here we are. If I take it there so you can get in focus. Oh, what a beauty. Nice. Okay. I've only got this one piece of mail, but that's a good thing, isn't it, really? Oh, let's see if I can get it out. I shall resort to um, tape, uh, pulling the tape off. Let's get it. Ugh. We had our the we had this leaflet before. We've read this one. Yeah, this is uh, Mount Fitchett Castle, a Norman village of ten sixty six and all that. Oh, I say, let's get the skizzers. Mm. Ready? No, I'm not. I'm not scratching the coin. Honest. I'm a bit more uh, mindful than that of damaging them. There we go, get rid of the, the bit of tape. I like the way uh, this person uh, packs these neatly, but uh, I would appreciate some capsules. <laughs> you can hear it, can't you? Mm, they cost money. Here we go. Look at this. Where's this from? 
another one look at Spain so it must be part of a series but we will find that out when we look it up and um, 2011 2011 what blimey wow loving it loving it loving it I haven't looked yet so I don't know look at the condition Spain again oh I've obviously purchased these with a mind to um, the fact that they were all buildings in Spain it just says España 2021 so and so I do put these into uh, the official website of the European Union and I do a bit of homework first and then I do a little review of them all uh, because I'm learning I've known nothing oh look at that Hey, Ooh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. 2020, Latuva. Is that Latvia? Latuva? Latuvia? Latuva. Latuva. I'm sorry about the pronunciation, guys and girls, but um, look at that. That skyline. Mm. A lot of temples and crosses, so. Um, some sort of uh, holy site or um, pilgrimage site. We don't know, but we will find out. There we are. So that was the post. Righty ho. I've got uh, three photographs, which you'll see on the end of here, of the um, cards, the change checker um Change checker cards, you know what I mean? What are they called? Trade, you know, trading cards, like trading cards, what are they called? These. Okay. Uh, three photographs on the end of the ones that I already have been uh, gifted by um, Glenn of Macamula and some that I have collected myself because I was sending them to somebody else and that person has now offered to send me some. So they're tr well travelled, these cards. But. Um, uh, if you have any swaps or any spares, uh, I'd much appreciate it. That'll help me out a great deal uh, because I'm well behind everybody else. I have no idea when these cards started, but there have been several series since I've been doing this. So, mm, I know. Uh, so anyway, uh, that aside, two euro coins, they will come up on an individual review. I know most of you don't... Um, uh, collect two euros or euros at all but if you think about it they are world coins mm. so you will get there eventually <laughs> oh dear nice to be in front for, for a change <laughs> you can't call me tail end charlie on this one can you hey i'm up there i'm with it yay well the thing is that what, what you're looking at here is you're looking at coins and collections that are actually you are able to cash in a lot of these coins that have gone out of fashion uh, all these countries that have gone on to the euros and their old coins we collect and put them in date runs uh, but uh, very few of them i think you could probably cash in and um, if you needed to in the future you've still got like your two pound coins and your 50 p's if you're not in a very um, good position and you really need to do that you can and that's what I like about 50 p's two pound coins you know at the end of the day when I fed up with them just pay them all back in the bank <laughs> ah! okay okay don't go into a panic um, yeah so there we are guys and girls a little short one today uh, photos coming up and um, I appreciate your help so uh, take care until the next one bye bye